search for signs of Josh. Oh my god. This is actually kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. Whoa! What's up guys, Curve back again on Dreams, checking out the Eternity House by Handsome Fiend. In a dilapidated city, a wary private investigator falls a tip off that leads him into the heart of a terrifying perpetual nightmare. Holy shit, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but this seems pretty cool. I like the judging by the thumbnails. It's also one of the recommended games that I had on Dreams, so I definitely wanted to check it out. So thanks for dropping by. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get to it. Every city has its secrets, but sometimes I get the feeling the city has more secrets than most. You just call it a hunch, I guess, but when you work as a private eye in this town for as long as I have, uncovering secrets kind of has a way of becoming your business. Take this latest job. A couple of weeks back, a college student by the name of Josh Barnes just happened to up and vanish somewhere out in the city. Just poof, gone, you know? And now his parents have hired me to track the kid down. Well, did some digging, and as luck would have it, I found myself a lead. A witness who claims he saw Josh walk into some random house the night he went missing. So tonight, I thought I'd go out and do some sniffing around. After all, what have I got to lose? Whoa. Dude, this one has narration too. I was not okay. expecting that. Assuming oh. that tip off was reliable, Josh was last seen going into a house out in a place called Perdition Row. Hmm. I guess I better get over there and check things out. Oh, moving, okay. Fine, Perdition Row, okay. Oh, I started off in the city. But yeah, like I was saying, I was not expecting this to also have narration, so that was pretty interesting. And apparently I'm, it's a missing persons case, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I wonder if I'll be able to do detective stuff, like, um... This better not turn out to be a wild goose chase. I could be in bed right now. <laughs> That's funny. I, I kind of like the narration for this one too. Also, I'm just going forward. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Can I mess with stuff? <gasps> I can! Holy crap! Oh, I'm gonna read, guys. Latest East End disappearance sparks fresh outcry against increasingly bewildered police force. Following the recent disappearance of Joshua Burns, oh, it's the guy I'm looking for, at a fortnight ago. Public demand has been renewed for police investigators to reopen the alarming number of missing persons cases that have been previously shut down due to an apparent lack of evidence. According to state record, 11 individuals have been reported to have abruptly vanished in the city over the past year alone, with Barnes' recent disappearance only adding to the disturbing pattern. Described as increasingly bewildered by an inside source, police officials have been completely unable to discern any kind of connection between the apparent victims. Outside of all the reported disappearances appearing to originate, originate in the East End area. Meanwhile, the search for Barnes continues into its third week, with Barnes' family reported to have reached out to an outside party to assist with the search, partly on account of police resources already being stretched well beyond capacity. Whoa. That's cute. I mean, it sucks for Joshua. I'm like, damn, that's that must be a buzz kill and a half. Arcadia Avenue, Patricia. Oh, it's right over here. Okay. Ooh, I, I go kind of fast. I move fast. That's cool. I like that you can interact with other things too, and it, I like this also like uh, this build up. Oh, missing persons. For the guy I'm looking for. A missing poster. Live in this damn town long enough. After a while, you get used to seeing these things everywhere. Whoa! Poor kid's family must be going through hell. That's kind of depressing. Missing Joshua Barnes. Physical description: twenty-three year old male, medium build, five seven, 
in height, sandy blonde hair. Ooh. Josh was last seen working at the Lower East Side for a local pizza delivery service wearing a company uniform consisting of a blue cap and a red jacket and dark blue pants. Hmm. Josh, if you're reading this, please come home. Your family loves it. Aww. Aww. We'll find Josh. If it's the last thing I do, we'll find Josh. Hmm. Oh my god. I really like the look of this place. Oh, it's right there. What is that? The pair... What? Excuse me? The... Perdition Row. All right. Josh was last no. seen going into the seventh house on the row. If I find the right house, maybe I'll be able to figure out hmm. what happened. To I don't know if it's going to be that hard to find that house <laughs> that I'm looking for. But I wanted to see what that... What is it? Paradise? Oh, can I go there? I'm not sure this is the right way. It is the right way. Trust me. I'm the detective. Oh, I can't move forward. <laughs> Sads. Paradise Lounge XXX must have to wait. It'd be kind of neat to see other NPCs around here, but you know what? This town kind of seemed like the one where you hang out <laughs> outside your apartment for too long at night, so. Oh boy. Oh, I just noticed the house has numbers on them. Number five. Close, but no cigar. Oh, the Roman numerals. This is house number six, right? <laughs> God, I hate rolling <laughs> I'm there, not that bad. Okay, the house that I'm supposed to walk to just disappeared, right? Or where, where'd it go? Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, woe is... Woe is the understatement of the year, sir. <laughs> oh, look, it's a bike. Can I examine? No, I can't. Okay, here it goes. To investigate. Well, I guess this is the place. It's strange though. It looks kinda Oh. Oh that's bad. Hello? No, no. Yo, what the fuck? Hello, is anyone there? Oh, this is bad. Weird. Maybe I should take a look around. I don't know about that. I don't know if I should walk in here, guys. Search for signs of Josh. Oh my god. This is actually kind of terrifying. Not gonna lie. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. I guess... Yo, how long is this hallway? Ooh! Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Josh. Josh, my boy. <laughs> Are you Hello? in here? Is anyone here? What the hell is this place? Well. You might have guessed correctly. In that statement. It might be. Nah, nah. That would be too simple of an explanation. But this place has seriously had some issues. Holy crap, guys. I just realized I haven't been testing the doors. Oh. No, nope, doesn't let me mess with the doors. I just got kind of entranced with the lighting. The red light, bulbs are, red light bulbs are really selling it for me right now. Man, how far back is this house? Holy crap. Oh! Blue cap. Baseball cap. Wonder what it's doing here. Is that Josh's? What was that sound? I can't miss. Is that Josh's? What's that? Oh, I see something in the distance. Okay, I'm running. This hallway really just keeps on going. That's what I'm saying! What is that? Oh, it's the pizza Josh was delivering. Box from Mancetti's Pizza. Wait a second. Josh was delivering pizzas. Yeah. Leave the 91 missing. 
What? Coincidence. Uh, no. Whoa, what the fuck? There seems to be something else up ahead. So Josh must have walked in here then. I'm guessing, like, holy crap. Oh, I see something. Huh. <gasps> What's this? Not sure why I'm writing this. Guess I just need a way to stay sane. It's been around a day since I first entered this place. Last night, an order came through at Machetti's Pizza for delivery to the seventh house on Perdition Row. Only when I came around to deliver it, I found the front door was already open. So like an idiot, I just blundered straight inside. Now I'm trapped in some damn hallway that never seems to end. At least the, the pizza tasted nice, I guess. Josh. Holy shit. So Josh was here. Yeah. Josh! Josh, can you hear me? Maybe I'll find him up ahead. Hopefully. Dude, oh my god. That is... Fucking horror 101. And like, and I mean that in a good way. Like, this is fucking cool. I love the style. And whole, what the heck happened? Are those nails? Was Josh clawing at something? Or was something chasing Josh? Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm fucking scared. I don't see anything else, but I do see a lot more doors. Whoa. What? If anyone can read this, my name is Josh Barnes. Yeah, I'm alive, Josh Sen definitely here, right? Whoa, what the f Dude, this is awesome! I, it's scary, but awesome. Oh, there's something else up ahead. Oh, it's like a phone or something. Well, I've been trapped in this hallway for around a week now. What the? F Looks like the kid was stuck here for a while. Yeah, apparently there's still no end to the to it. Phone died long ago. Not that it makes any difference. I couldn't get a signal to get outside anyway. Banged on so many. Oh, so it was him. Banged on so many of the doors, but no one ever answers. Even tried to break some down today, but they won't even... They don't even get so much as a dent. To make things worse, I swear this hallway changes. Yesterday I walked down the hall all day, only to end up right back at the point I first started. Like some endless fucking loop. I still can't believe this is happening to me. I feel like I'm losing my damn mind. I won't give up though. There has to be some way out of here. There just has to be. I need to find a way to keep my mind occupied until help arrives. I wish it brought a pack of cards. Josh. I like Josh. Josh is like an optimist, like a never ending optimist, kind of like myself. <laughs> oh, he started playing tic tac toe. Oh, no, tic tac toe. You know what I mean. <laughs> sure, boredom. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope you find Josh, like, alive. Although, I mean, yeah, I'm probably we can probably figure a way out of here, maybe. Yo, dude, this is insane. Oh. I spy with my little eye something beginning with the letter D. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, just, uh, how much longer can this hallway go on for? You know, there's your answer right there, buddy. For infinity. Oh. Ooh, not a fan of growling. Not a fan of growling. Holy fuck. Don't forget the world outside. Aw. Yo, he is slowly losing his head, man. Damn. Airplanes. Ooh. Oh, there's an another note up ahead. Oh boy. It's been approximately six months, holy sh, since I first entered this house. Wait a minute. Six months? Yeah. Josh was trapped in this place for six months? 
Apparently. How is that possible? I don't know. First entered this house. If it wasn't for my watch, I wouldn't be able to keep track of time. At all. I'm starting to forget what the outside world even looked like. Hell, I'm starting to forget what my own family used to look like. They probably all think I'm, I'm dead by now. Who knows? Maybe I am. After all, I should have died of hunger or thirst in this place months ago. It's been so long since I last ate or drank anything. I'm in so much pain. Is this house keeping me alive? And if so, what for? I miss seeing people, talking to people. All I hear in this damn hallway is my own voice. I just want to go home. Just want to go home. Josh. Oh, bro. Dude, this is like Twilight Zone and like American Horror Story all wrapped in like one cheesecake. Like, it's amazing. Like, oh, I mean, like, I'm having a good time. I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, a spoopy. Is a spoopy. Ooh, hello. Happy birthday to me. Jesus Christ. Dear Josh. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck happened to Josh? Coming for you, bro. What? What? Why didn't they come for me? Oh, no. I won't give up. I won't give up. Oh, my. This hallway can't just go on forever. Dude, right, what right. the fuck? God, I'm starting to go crazy. Oh! I think he changes up ahead. Oh it's my god. Right what the f Oh. No. That's bad. That's bad, dude. It just keeps going. What the fuck? Oh. What? Why do I get the feeling Josh wasn't the first person to wind up in this place? Oh, dude, is the house itself alive? I think the house is alive, guys. That's insane. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Goodbye! Oh fuck! Oh, he must have tried to kill himself. Oh no, the note. So he must be still alive. Fuck! Time has abandoned me. I have so existed. Josh survived. <laughs> Maybe I can still find him. Yeah. Time has abandoned me. I existed in this hallway for so long now that I can barely recall how long I have been here. At least 15 years. Holy sh! 15 years. By my last count, were my past notions of a world outside this one always a lie? Something I only concocted in my mind like a sickness? I don't even think I know anymore. A few days ago, I finally gave in to despair and attempted suicide. Needless to say, I survived. I think only because the house did not want me to die. For I am its eternal prisoner. Starting from this moment, I will start to officially record the time that passes here. For every month, I will make a line on the doors as a tally. Those lines at least can be something real. They will remind me of something real, Josh. Whoa, dude. That's so depressing. Alright, we gotta look out for these tally marks, guys. Oh. Yep. Every one is a month, bro. Holy sh... My guy. My guy right now, dude. What is happening? There's no fucking way. There's no way someone can be alive that long. What in the hell is happening in here? Wait a second. Is someone up there? Oh, thank God. 
Josh! Josh, is that you? Hang on, Josh, I'm coming, all right? Just hang on. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's... Fuck. Sucks. Fucking Josh. My eyes have been opened. The house helped me. It now whispers things to me. Ancient secrets and shimmering truths that I had only to pay heed to. I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. I was only at first too arrogant to listen. Ignorant to listen. I know now why I first came to the house. It was not mere coincidence that brought me here. But the house is very will. Today the house told me that it has always lured people to it so it may feed upon them, feasting on their souls for all eternity. It has lured and consumed many people, just that it will consume those who will inevitably follow me. After so many centuries I am all but spent. The house has commanded me to die so that the next soul shall take my place. It will lure them here just as it did to me, as they too will walk its halls for all eternity. Only to be drained for its great and glorious per- Damn, bro! There's no escaping, there's only the eternal house. Oh, Oh boy. That's not good, guys. Fuck. Hey, 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 there's, there's some kind of light down there. Let's keep towards the light. I, I think it could be some kind of way out of here. Oh, 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 can I run? I'm running. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! I'm not gonna die in this place. I'm not gonna die in this place. Oh no. No, 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 no! Fuck. No. Bravo. Anyway. So yeah guys, so that was the Eternity House by Handsome Fiend who also did the voice acting I believe for the game and holy crap, holy crap, that was awesome. I loved, I just loved every part of that. It was really, really well put together. I like this, the build up to getting to the house instead of starting off inside the house. So I really enjoyed that. That was super awesome Handsome Fiend and also props to everyone who helped make the game as well. Um, I couldn't put the ending of the game, which was great by the way, I really wish I could add it, but unfortunately due to YouTube's DMCA thing, I can't because of the song, the copyrighted song in it. But yeah, it was uh, Where Is My Mind, if you guys are wondering. I really hope you continue it or make another one or a part two of the Eternity House. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks for dropping by guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys on the next one.